now we are going to study the effect of change in price on optimal bundle from a different angle okay let's look at it what happens here we have let's say this is our this is what we have this is let's say again this is x2 this is x1 and this is the bundle let's pay attention to the budget line what is budget line p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to i this is the budget line or what we can write x2 is equal to minus p1 by p2 x1 plus i by p2 i by p2 p2 so if p1 changes p1 changes what happens if p1 changes amount of x2 would change and x1 would change amount of x2 and x1 both would change at optimal level of course both will change but the point here is that the effect of change in p1 we can decompose it into two part effect of change in p1 because two roles that p1 is playing change in p1 would bring to the optimal consumption bundle one effect would be like let's say that relative attractiveness of these two goods now let's say everything else is same okay and the relative price forget about the actual price that everything is same just the relative price of good one and good to good one with respect to good two has changed okay so in other word if everything else is same it means this person should is getting the same utility okay and of course how we are able to manage it that we will see it later how we do it but let's say this person is getting the same utility but now the prices of these two goods are different in the economy and let's say that p1 has gone up so what will happen if we are on the same utility level then the new budget line should be tangent to this utility function due to this utility level this indifference curve and how would it look like because p1 has gone up so then this line would become steeper so it will be something like and what will be the optimal level there will be decrease in amount of good one consumed and there will be increase in amount of good increase in amount of good to consumed that's one effect because of change in price but artificially because if price is changing let's see what happens to the budget line income remains the same so we will not this is not the new budget line not the new budget line what will be the new budget line of course the maximum amount of quantity 2 that can be bought in the market would not change because of change in price of good one so and what i am saying that p1 has increased so then budget line will rotate pivoted at this particular point and it would rotate in Likewise. clockwise direction so the new budget line is going to be like this so how did we get this budget line what did we say here if budget line will rotate then this utility level it becomes unachievable unless unless the optimal optimal point is a corner point so i'm not talking about those scenarios okay unless it is the optimal point the corner point is the optimal point the earlier utility level cannot be achieved in this new scenario fine yes sir so let me say again it would be something like and of course i am drawing um, i'm sorry
So, this is the new new bund new optimal bundle fine and of course, this is approximation this is not exact graph. Okay. So, now how did we move from here to here? What is the difference? So, what we are basically doing now because the budget line is changing, but we want to we want to reach to the same utility level. So, artificially we are giving enough income to this consumer, so that he is able to achieve the same level of utility in this new changed world. And why this world is different? Because the prices of the price of good one is Change. different. So, basically in that case this line and this line these two lines should be parallel because the slope of this line is new price P 1 divided by P 2 and this line also has the slope new P 1 new if I want to say P 1 new divided by P 2. What is the difference? That here this person has little more income and art we did it artificially we did it in a way so that this person is able to achieve his earlier utility level. And why did we do it? Because we want to untangle the effect of change in price into two different component that price is doing two things. One it is changing the relative attractiveness of of two goods and second what it is doing? It is also decreasing the purchasing power of the consumer. How it is decreasing? Let us say rather than expressing this person in person's income in rupees, let us say the good one is food and good two is cloth. Let us say food is 10 rupees per kg and the income of this person is 100. So, we can express this person income in terms of food that would be 10 units of food, but now the price of food let us say it goes up from 10 to 20, it goes up from 10 to 20. Now, his income is just 5 units of food. So, there is decrease in his purchasing power. Okay. So, change in price is bringing doing two different things. One it is changing the relative attractiveness of good and it is also changing the purchasing power. Fine. Okay. So, when we talk about this first one, when we talk about the first one that it is changing the relative attractiveness of the good that is what we did here. That what we did? We kept the utility level fixed and we change the budget line. So, that the new budget line remains tangent to the same utility, same utility level. And so, that is why we are keeping everything fixed here we there is only one change income is not changing in the real terms only the relative attractiveness of these two goods are changing because of change in price of good one. Sir income is changing. Here in again income is changing, but in other in the purchasing power term it is not changing. What is the role that income is playing here? That income is used to achieve certain utility level. So, the monetary value of income may be different, but in terms of utility achieved it has not changed. The person is achieving same level of utility. Okay. So, in the real sense income does not change. Okay. In nominal sense it has changed. So, in that sense I am talking about that income real income remains the same because same level of utility is being achieved in this case. So, this this here is gives us substitution effect. Let me give you the definition. The change in the amount of quantity demanded because of 
the change in the price of that good while all other prices and the level of utility achieved achieved are kept constant fine so again let's look at it here this is the utility indifference curve achieved the maximum the maximum level being achieved in this case here we have x 1 and x 2 and earlier this is the x 1 star that is the quantity demanded for good 1 and now the new one is x 1 star dash fine clearly whenever we have convex indifference curve or convex preferences that would be more appropriate convex preferences fine then what will happen if p1 goes up x1 goes down star goes down and this i am not talking about overall effect i'm just talking about because of relative price change. substitution effect because this is the substitution effect we are changing only the relative attractiveness of the good but this is something artificial because we we this is the original budget line and the new budget line that we are using is this one we are artificially jacking up the income of this person so that he is able to achieve his earlier utility level in the new scenario but this is done artificially what's really happening that because of change in income this will budget line will become something like this and then we can have let's say optimal here something like this this is the new optimal level fine and so we can trace two changes from here to here and then from here to this is the final so this change is the total change total change and how about change from here to here this is change Substitute. because of substitution. substitution effect and then what is remaining from this artificial point to the final point income what is that change income. that is the change in quantity demanded because of income effect okay so let me write what is income effect the change in quantity change in the change in the amount of quantity demanded demanded because of change in purchasing power of a consumer while all the prices are kept constant fine so remember these two line this budget line and this budget this artificial budget line and the new budget line they are parallel to each other 
so it means the relative price of these two goods are same. same. What is the difference? That income level, the real income level are Four. different. Purchasing power is different. So this change is because of only purchasing power. Fine? Okay. Now let us look at it. Substitution effect whenever P1 goes up, let me write it here. P1 goes up, X1 star decreases. Just pure substitution effect. Can we say something similar for the income effect? Uh, no, sir. no, we cannot say. There are two scenarios here that we have studied already that either it can go up or it can go down. Go down. Here, let me introduce P1 is going up. So, what is happening? Income is decreasing. Income real is decreasing. And the one when real income is decreasing and x1 star is going up, it means this is inferior good. Inferior good. And this is normal, normal good. So, in case of normal good, the substitution effect and income effect, they work in the same, same direction. direction. But in the case of inferior good, substitution effect and income effect, they are in the opposite direction. 